It's such a warm and welcoming community. The atmosphere is super active. Every day I get to do something very exciting, very new. It's just being able to ask questions and answer them, questions that haven't really been answered before or asked before. You get to meet professionals from different departments and get to work with them. For recent grads, I think that's a really, really important and great opportunity. The pursuit of something that we never done before, the pursuit of something that would give meanings to our life, that's what I love about research. The foundation is absolutely critical. It provides avenues in which our studies can be funded by finding other people that believe what we believe and allow them to participate in this research and be part of it. Helping them get excited about this research um, in a way that really fosters this ability for them to be able to support us. Without the foundation, many of the discoveries that we have today would have just kind of uh, stayed in the lab. Toronto Rehab is vibrant, it is active, and it's moving in all different directions. So I think it's a really exciting moment in time to sort of reinvent ourselves and think bigger. Being surrounded by all this knowledge is amazing. It's a tremendous inspiration, but also a tremendous resource. I don't know of another organization where you have this breadth of expertise. We have engineers, we have clinicians, we have scientists. So getting input from everybody and all their like ideas and all their knowledge really helps improve my own project. We have some of the best infrastructure in the world. We have a world-class simulation facility. We have simulators that allow us to really strike this important middle ground between having the safety and control of a lab environment while also being able to realistically mimic the challenges that people are experiencing in their everyday lives. We have the coolest technology that we get to play around with and that's one of the biggest advantages because that really empowers us to do work that you can't really do anywhere else in the world. To work with so many different scientists and uh, postdocs and PhD candidates, it really inspires you to do uh, the best work that you can. There are lots of projects that are going on. It is crazy cool. Being able to see the type of work that people around me are doing on a day-to-day -day basis, it's truly an enriching environment. Our teams are losing their boundaries, so to speak, because we're cross-pollinating constantly. And I think that really is what's making this place so exciting. In a lot of engineering labs, when they're designing new products, they often have issues because they create a product that the patient may not want to use. So working side by side with the clinician helps uh, target some of these issues. I think this coordination, this collaboration is really important in terms of uh, patient care in the future. What makes Toronto Rehab so special is the way that we focus on being able to translate our research from the lab to life. A lot of the things that we're working on are in prevention. So we're trying to prevent falls in the winter. We're trying to prevent things like pressure injuries. We're trying to keep people out of our hospital. We can do things like create products and change policies and change practice in very tangible ways. If we can develop systems that are universal or, or hopefully um, affordable, it, it will be a huge impact for the world. Yeah, it makes me feel awesome and it makes me feel like the work that I put in has value and it's actually changing people's lives. It was incredible to see what patients are able to do after therapy as compared to what their abilities were before. Sometimes they have tears in their eyes and occasionally we are holding back as well. Like it's, it's just, it's completely incredible. We're a world-class institution and there's absolutely no reason why we can't affect the lives of individuals, not just in Canada, but around the world. The need for this technology is growing rapidly because of the aging population. We want to be the center of that movement. We will bring people from China, Europe, US to come and work with us together to help create those solutions and get the solutions out. The best in the physiotherapy, in occupational therapy, in biomedical engineering, in computer science are sitting in this place trying to solve the problem. Flying a kite is similar to our research that we do every day. The hardest part is getting it off the ground. Frustration, 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 persistence, 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 and you've done it. <laughs> if you're in the right environment with the right people around you that push you in the right direction, everybody can fly a kite. You just keep trying. You just keep looking for the wind and you see where it takes you.